This is about wave intensity. A wave of amplitude has intensity i. When you see this, you should already think about the equation, oh, i proportional to a squared. Mm, okay. After passing through a medium, now it has a new intensity of i over 4. So this is now smaller, reduced already. What is the new amplitude of the wave? Ah, this smells like a ratio question. So ratio is your best friend in here. So what does that mean by ratio? Well, there are a few ways to do the ratio thing. I'm going to show you both methods. The first method is, okay, your original ratio is i proportional to a square. Now you have a new, uh, this is called the ORI, uh, then the new ratio is going to be uh, 1 over 4. So it's 1 over 4 times smaller, but also 1 over 4 of a square. This is what I call the shortcut method. So okay, so far okay. So if you if you if your intensity is one over four, it means a square also have to be one over four times smaller. But what is the 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 amplitude though? This is where you need to look at this part a little bit more carefully, and you say okay, I need the square to be outside. So I need this to be something times a square. So this will be one over two. Can I do it? Can I do that? Okay, I bring the 1 over 4 inside the bracket and I have to make it 1 over 2 because 1 over 2 squared is 1 over 4. So that means my amplitude, the new amplitude is half times smaller. Okay, so that's 1 over 2. Ta-ta! That's how you can do the answer. This is a shortcut, but you need to know how to do the proportional, proportional method. The other method is also similar using ratios, but you are equating equations. So... You know that i over a squared, okay, let me just label this one, method 1, method 2. It's good to know how to use both, right? So you know that i over a is a constant. So for the old wave and the new wave, the i over a should equal to each other. Lah. So you can say that your i1 over a1 should equal to i2 over a2. Okay, so the next line, I'm going to say i1 is just i. What is a1? a. <laughs> what is i2? i over 4. What is amplitude of 2? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to find. Okay, amplitude 2. So let's rearrange everything. You will have... The amplitude that you're trying to find will be i over 4 times a over i. Wait a second. You might say, miss, you're missing something. Squares. Oh my. We do ratio. We forgot about the square. I yo. So we add the square. Okay, okay. A square, A square, A square. That looks better. So this will be A square, A square, A square, A square. All right. Okay, so that is, you need to remember the squares when doing ratios as well. So if we simplify this down, I divided by I, so it'll be gone. All that's left is A square over 4. And let's bring the square root over. So we have this. So the intensity of A2 will then be A over square root of 4 is 2. A over 2. Oh, yeah, that works. Okay, so both methods can work. Which one makes more sense to you? You choose that method and you do it. If you know how to use both, even better. Okay, so that's how you can deal with intensity. When you see intensity, probably you have to use a ratio. Just remember to, to include A squared in your ratio as well. So that's all for this question. I will see you in the next one.